Oh no, it's one it's of those very days. quiet today. Yeah, it doesn't want to play. You click it, and it just oh. around. And... How about I, I got it? This is a certified hood classic. Perfect. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. Everything locked up, and now it's just all playing, and uh, yeah. Great start. Is it Monday? No, it's freaking Tuesday. I would have expected But it's our that. Monday for court, so. Ah, good point. Good point. Anyways, welcome. Chris. It happens. Yeah. Good to see everybody. Uh, a happy Tuesday, Taco Tuesday, for most of you, if you're watching in the future. Hey. Uh, this doesn't look like licking. I was promised licking, and this is not licking. Creed, I know you were promised a licking, and you will get your licking. Don't oh. you worry. But first, we'll visit uh, this judge, who we've kind of come to know as deals with a lot of bullshit. I mean, yeah. he really puts up with a lot. Uh, so we're going to enjoy him just a little bit, and then we're going to slide over to one of our pl favorite places on Earth, Licking County, Ohio. It's been a while. Home of the suit. Oh, Formerly. So. Uh, on that date and time in the city of Detroit, Miss Guzman, were you in that area? Guzman. Yes. And what, what did you do? Um, I was driving the correct way down Ethel Ford, and a little Honda was coming up the wrong way and crashed right in front of my truck. And he, he, um, some guys got out of the truck and started shooting at my truck, and oh. they shot my tire, and they shot the back of my truck. So I, you know, I was defending myself. What? There's got to be little more to the story, right? I, I, don't I was I driving up the road, Your Honor, and then out of nowhere came a small car, hit me. Honda. It was a Honda. They jumped out. Right. They started shooting up the place. Shot out my tires and shot the back of my car. And I was well, I defended myself. How'd she defend herself, by the way? Oh, I'm sure she was uh, ready to go with a pew pew action. Probably that would be my guess, anyways. A lot happening. Term. Where have all the good times gone, baby? They're right here. This is an OG call. I, I judge, if I might. Miss oh, Guzman, uh, Whoa. the people who shot at you, they then got out of their car and fled. Is that correct? Yeah, they got out, shot and fled. And uh, why is he doing that with such a smile? He's like, now listen to your bullshit story. <laughs> I feel like he knows something we don't. <laughs> He's definitely He's got something yeah. ready. He's gonna <laughs> plunk down a a reverse, <laughs> draw four, and then you know, change the color to green. <laughs> Katie Brown, welcome. Make a great uh, choice to share this Taco Tuesday. Um, I so I think he's already. I don't know. We're Creed framing. And oh no! Take your time. Go ahead and discuss it. Firefox doing things. And Firefox. Lovely. Yeah, we're already Fire. we're a pegged at one. By the way, so, begging for a pegging at one. That's where we're at. Um, let's say, uh, huh? Yeah, I'll be right back. Did we welcome uh, again? Welcome to all the new members. Now's the time to do us a huge favor. Like the video. Become part of our family. Because you'll see there are two kinds of videos on our channels. One that you'll see my face and the swirling guy up above me. You'll see his face typically in the frozen position. Then you'll see videos that don't have us, but do have our wits and minds in them. So if you enjoy court, this is the place for you. But always keep in mind, you're going to get two kinds of videos. The funny kind and the other funny kind. Two kinds. Creed may come back, may not come back. Who knows? I'm at the point now I might. Uh, there are actually two creeds down below me now. Two creeds below me, one creed above me, and one very uh, sassy lady. Uh, boy, oh boy. Good to see everybody, though. Uh, this is the time of day I enjoy pandering to you guys. Asking you to do us a huge favor. Allow us to be part of your daily routine. 
I'm going to do this. I'm going to pull up the, the court because I, I, I think Creed's having really bad issues today. Well, no, uh, StreamYard did. I came back and there was five credences along the bottom, by the way. Yes, I know. Um, I saw them. And then uh, and it was so then when I come back, it still says it. I, I go and check. I check the Internet there to make sure, too. And uh, anyways, I'm uh, I'm pegged out at one. So yeah, I, I'm I don't fixing that. You. Yeah, I'm you're going to have to. I uh, it's it's just uh, my last mm -hmm. week. Good to see everybody. Last week, we'll have a party on Friday. My goodbye party. Creed's heading now. He is. He's done with the shit. Greener pastures. That's right. <laughs> just it's still just it's right at one. By the way, just ran a speed test. Everything fine. Uh, internet access perfect and full and after they fled you then shot their car correct yes judge i would contend that that significantly That's, exceeds self-defense yeah, they ran away from her after that uh, oh i mean that's a good reason to run though so you're saying that it, yeah I, I i so wait a minute miss you would mind you 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 get out and and somebody's shooting at you and then they leave and then your your response to that is instead of calling the police you jump out of your car and just start shooting up their car um i didn't know what else to do like i was by myself there was like four guys there um at the time i didn't know where i had put my phone and i just panicked that was the only thing that came to mind because i panicked like i didn't know what's happening but she don't play around. The guys left, right? They was running away. I don't know. I didn't know if there was one. They were there. I couldn't see anything. I didn't because when I jumped out the car, I can just see people running. Like like I they laughed. Like I couldn't really see anything. I just thought I just panicked. I I just panicked. Panicking uh, is grabbing your pee pee. Take that, Mister um, Dupree. A judge, that's a little different than um, than how previously when I had talked. I'm sorry. I love this shit eating grin that this dude has right now because he knows yeah. he has her. He knows it. He knows it. And I love it. I, I love panicked it. and I and I unloaded <laughs> 600 rounds into the car in the adjacent area. I panicked. I Did she not say she didn't really see him? I couldn't even really see them. She said there were several of them. There like four of them. <laughs> there, uh, it had come across. It had come across more as retributional when I previously talked to her. Uh, they were already gone. What was that, Mr. Guzman? What, what is the truth? What is the truth, ma'am? The truth is, as I was coming down on Chopin Street and I made a right turn on Apple Ford. Mm hmm. This little Honda car was coming up the wrong way and just crashed in the front of my truck. We already and went over that. that. What is the truth about what you when, when you started shooting this gun? <laughs> well, when they when they were shot at me, they took off running. Okay. I then got my gun and shot the car up. So you just lied to me about not knowing who was around you knew they were gone or did you not know they were gone what is the truth <laughs> well i did see them leave so uh, i'm so yeah I, they're gone they were gone so you shot their car up just because you were mad right yeah some anger management as well. I don't know. I didn't watch out if you're a Honda and you're anywhere near this lady. Be careful because she don't like Hondas. She shot it up. I mean, I, now I wonder was there any pew pewing from them? Because I don't think so. I don't think so. Especially if they're just like running away the second that this happens. Just, you know. <laughs> what to say about that? Judge, well, I think it's. If I might, uh, I think I will note here, it's not like she just independently of any other circumstances shot their car. 
I, I'm not saying that this is acceptable or legal, but they had shot her car and her reaction was to shoot their car. Uh, obviously, that's not that sort of retribution is not uh, legal, but it's it wasn't a disproportionate response. A it's tire like for a tire. Lashed out at somebody who here's a disproportionate car. response. You, I understand that you're 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 in an excited state. You're you're being shot at. God, uh, 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 bless that you did not get hit. But after they leave, you're just mad now. And you can't control yourself and you shoot their vehicle. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. And what is not disproportionate about that, Mr. Dupree? I'll because I would say it's not disproportionate because they had shot hers, Judge. She could have shot at them while they were leaving. I'd say that would show a complete lack of self control. She could have murdered them, Your Honor. I think I think a lack of self control is you know the 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 the, the issue I struggle with is the firing the firing the weapon and how dangerous that is in and of itself. And firing the weapon, I can see you firing the weapon for um, purposes of protection, protecting yourself or defending yourself. You have in the court's eyes and. The law's eyes, you're you're fully you have that right. But just after you're after getting out, I can understand why you would be upset. But after getting out and you're seeing these people leave, they're no longer a threat to you, and you just take your anger out on their vehicle just because is 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 unacceptable. Yeah, Jeff, I completely read that one wrong. That's his uh, her lawyer, yeah. Why does he have all these smiles like that? Then I, yeah, okay. I, he, he's like, you know, way. he's like, oh shit, here we go. Now I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to figure this out. She done told me she shot up the car for retribution. Now I gotta walk her through this uh, again, I, though. What I, terrible I, shots do we have in this area? I mean, four <laughs> dudes with pee poos couldn't hit her, right? And then she gets out and way well, yeah, just waylays the car. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, I was way off. Um, I, I think that the, I think that where he's talking though, is that what had happened was done. They yeah. ran away. If it's self-defense and it's real quick, I don't you go after the people that just did that to you. Not an innocent small Honda. I think that's in the middle of traffic. I mean, right. she could have hit anybody. So, I mean, the judge has got a point like, look, you're lucky. You know, somebody wasn't hit with all this pew pew and out here. Wild Wild West. Can't believe now. I thought that shit eating grin was all about him having something on her, but nope. He's trying to help her. Oh, got it. Oof, those stairs from this charge. Right. Um, I'm gonna find her guilty as charged to the um discharge of the firearm. It's gonna be 40 hours of community service. If Southwest Detroit Community Justice Center. No, nah, there's a lot more. I'm going to story. dismiss the uh, improper transport to complete the community. So I want you to come back October the 10th, 2024. Uh, Ms. Ms. Puenteo, uh, let me know when she completes the community service. Um, your next court date is October 10th, 2024. I, I just don't want the community service to go over Wonder Twin Double D's. Thank you, uh, Detroit. Just Where outside of the beautiful city of Detroit. Yes. And Leather and Lasses, Tempo. She lives. You. She lives. She lives. And Gary <laughs> lives as well. We found out where Gary is. Wonder Twin. <laughs> Should six months uh, i need that really completed sooner rather than later um if it's nothing further i hope you um i i, I do sympathize with you on getting shot at I, i've never i done. sympathize with you too uh i because i hate hondas the small hondas yeah it's something that i can't imagine happening and i wouldn't want to wish that on anybody but i hope you kind of reflect on your actions after that you don't just um, uh, just because you're upset, you don't just go out and fire guns at people's cars 
for, 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 for no reason other than you just being upset now. I you agree. Know, you, you call the police, you let the police handle that. I mean, guns are just, you know, it's it, you, it's for your personal protection. And once that once that threat is gone, then because you could have made just this could have made the situation so much worse if somebody one of those bullets hit the stranger. It's not a bigger thing. All right. Man. Straight bullets. All right, have a, have a great day, man. She's unfazed, by the way. Hey, no. Yes, so you get in touch with Mr. Happens Dupree. all the time with her. Just another day. Okay. All right, Mr. Dupree, have a good day. Best of luck. I do you. like her hoops, though. They are humongous hoops. Oh. So, oh. They're at the jail for us to give you a lawyer for free. Uh, yeah, they were, uh, but yes, oh. I do that. Because I'm letting you out, you're the wow. one who has to turn that in. I, the jail won't do that for you. As many times as we've been to licking, never have we had an interpreter uh, up there ever, right? Never, ever have we had an interpreter. They, uh, We've had a few on the <laughs> phone, but never standing right next to no. him. Oh, that's interesting. God. I Did mean, he, this, lo- this interpreter... Is in the lion's den. He yeah. should get hazard pay, Creed. He's inside the licking walls, right there wow. outside of Sue's Su- kitchen. Sue's kitchen. Yeah, I was gonna say we saw the uh, the wallpaper. This dude's brave. Uh, yes, the cases will be probably joined together, but right now they're not. They'll be assigned randomly to a judge and set for a trial. We are not slow. Yeah, no, not no more. And until and unless you get a lawyer, all the notices are going to go for you. Yes. It's important that we have your correct address when you sign your paperwork down there. Yes. If you get a lawyer, make sure you stay in close contact with them throughout the, these proceedings. Uh, you like it, I mean, you work in the yes. Do you have any other questions today, Mr. Magar? Uh, uh, so, uh, I don't have any other question, but do I get uh, released today? You will be released today. It'll probably take him a few hours to process you out. Yes. All right. Well, thank you very much. You may go with the officer. Yeah, thank you, officer. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, things are kind of different in the post Sue era that mm-hmm. we're living in now. Yeah, they've moved the camera over a little bit, and I can't see the uh, the wallpaper anymore. I also noticed uh, the camera work is a little better. Maybe the cameras are a little better. It's still crooked, though. And I think the curtain and the uh, stand is crooked. Camera, spot on. All right. Next, we have Joshua Pesky. Petschke, everybody. Good afternoon, sir. Is that how you pronounce your last name? Any guesses on what he did, Creed? Mm. Petschke, big dude, glasses, tattoos. I he does have a big chest tattoo. I can't Mm -hmm. even guess. Uh, Organized crime, (laughs) selling guns to women. Okay, you did well. <laughs> and Mr. Pesky, do uh, you understand your rights? Phone's ringing. I do. Did you receive a copy of the complaints that were filed in this matter? Yes, sir. Wow. So it looks like the first count alleges, and it's the Newark Police Department that filed it. Um, they're alleging that you not only caused or attempt to cause physical harm to a family or household member, uh, Uh-oh. to wit, LP, they just list the initials there. Um, that's known as domestic violence. It's a misdemeanor of the first degree. The maximum Shame. penalties for that offense are up to 180 days in jail and up to a thousand dollar fine. The second count alleges in the same date location that you knowingly caused or attempted to cause physical harm simply to another person. The difference between those two is to, to achieve a conviction for domestic violence, the state has to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the alleged victim was a family or household member. So I think these are two different theories of the same alleged events, but it's also a first degree misdemeanor with the same penalties. And then lastly, uh, the Newark Police Department is alleged on, on that date. Phone. Um, that you, uh, being a parent, guardian, custodian, or person having custody or control, or a person in loco parentis of a child under 18 years of age, 
shall not recklessly Fomentous. create a substantial risk to the health or safety of the child by violating the duty of care, protection, or support. Commonly known as child endangering, that is also a first degree misdemeanor with the same penalty. So do you understand that's what the charges are? Um, I do now. And how do you wish to plead <laughs> to those charges? Sir? I'm sorry. Oh, not guilty. I do sir. now. And what is your current address? Now. Uh, 652 Mile Street, Newark, Ohio, 43055, and I own that home. Uh, are you employed, sir? I, um, I actually uh, am a partner in a business myself. And what kind Ooh. of work do you do? I'm an electrician. That's a good job. You know what they say about electricians, Creed? Uh, they no. do it without shorts. I say <clears throat> they do them. Do it without a uh, Shorts. Thank you, guys. Look at Creed. He's dying laughing. Yes. And how long have you been uh, with this in this particular? Um, we, we started this venture back in August, but me and my partner have been working together uh, through a couple other com companies for five, six years now. All right. Let me take a quick look here at the file. Then we're going to talk about your bond. So just bear with me, okay? Yes, sir. Hold on, Creed. Sorry. When everybody's heard about the bird. He's he's trying. I'm trying to help him. He's he's struggling. He's having a time. Let's all band together and pray for. Yeah. So, uh, he's all right. Some pretty serious charges. I'll be very surprised if we can say the old PR. He seems like a hothead. Is Craig my replacement for next Monday? I get it. I understand. Trust me. I'm just trying to get more time. Well, thank you for giving me top billing, at least. <laughs> I figured Craig would go on top. Look at old Stansberry pouring over the details. I think we lost Creed completely now. He'll be back. That's a weird, it's a weird, uh, that's it. Michael, I'd like to tell my boss certain chances of being like, I'm going to take PTO. I just, I haven't got a chance to get hold of him since the last time. Knee slappers. Knee slappers. Yeah, I'm going to take PTO. Knee slappers. Knee slappers. So while this is the go on. Man, he's really taking his time with this one. Make sure you hit the like so we can figure out what the hell's going on around here. Nothing but love and solidarity for Creed's internet. While we take this moment to pour over the incredible amount of details, hopefully everybody's having a Are great Are you from day. Illinois originally, or did you just great live day. there for a while? Um, yeah, I actually, I was born in Hammond, Indiana, but I, I resided in Illinois. Illinois, according Illinois. to Illinois. Uh, do you also live in Florida Illinois. at some point? Yes, sir. Is Emily home? <laughs> it appears so. She was just standing there. Thinking about that. Wow, we really got a tough time with this one. Yes, it's always Spectrum. We always blame Spectrum. Yeah, even when they don't have Spectrum, it's still Spectrum. All right, fault. I'm going to give you an opportunity to make a statement before I, I make so. any decisions regarding your bond, but I want to caution you about saying anything about what may or may not have happened back on the 8th because we are recording this and anything you say could be used against you. So that being said, is there anything else you want to say before I set your bond? Yes. Uh, no, just that, you know, I'm a single father. I'm, I'm trying my best. Me and my daughter are going through her tweens and a lot of stealing and lying has been going on. Just I'm trying my best. I've never heard. I had a daughter and her tween. She never stole a fucking thing from anyone. What are you talking about, dude? Craig says, thank you. Stealing. I didn't know that's a thing when you're a twain. You know, she's stealing. She said, uh, you know, feller's house on fire up back of the way. Illinois. Twins. You know. The huge.
my daughter intentionally. And, uh, you know, I just uh, hope he can uh, get this all squared away as soon as possible. Set her, set her straight, Creed. Straightened her out like Creed's internet. All right. Having reviewed the file, both uh, the uh, information pertinent to the instant charges as well as your previous history with the criminal justice system, I'm going to set your bond at $5,000 cash or surety, and I'll make it a 10% bond. But Five, more importantly, I'm, for now, at least today, I'm putting on a no contact order with LP. Um, that can be changed in the future, but for today, it's going to stay. Stansbury this case is going to get randomly assigned too. to a judge and set for a trial. You'll get notice of that by mail uh, once it's uh, scheduled. And you have the right to either hire counsel or you can get an application for court appointed counsel there at the jail. Right. If you're able to post your bond, you'll have to turn it in yourself. If you're not going to be able to post the bond at this Careful. time, then the jail will send it down there for you. And your lawyer can petition whichever judge is appointed uh, or assigned, I should say, um, to uh, reduce that bond in the future. But for today, I'm going to leave it in that amount. Do you have any questions today, sir? Yeah, I mean, you know, I got to get back to work tomorrow. I mean, I, I wish the bond could be a little smaller if possible, but... I mean, I understand. I mean, there's no, there, no, there's no good time to be down there. But based on what I see, yeah, that's a good point. That youngin's running wild right now. He needs to go home. She done stole everything in the house. It, so I'm ready to understand. It's the daughter he had the problem with. That reason he's here. I would say so. Yeah, okay. that would be my guess anyway. She's wild. See, that's why I'm going to set it like this today. As I said, it can be reduced in the future. But any other questions? No, sir. All right. Thank you, Mr. Peschke. You may go with the officer. Uh, really? <laughs> Keep them dreams out the stores. Good afternoon, sir. Are you Mr. Ramsey? Yeah. And Mr. Ramsey, do you understand your rights in court today? Yes, I do. Did you receive a copy of the complaint in your case? Yep. You read it and understand it. Yes, sir. He seems happy to be here. was alleging that on or about April the 14th of this year in the city of Newark in Lincoln County, Ohio, that you did knowingly cause or attempt to cause physical harm to another. Yes. Now, that's commonly known as assault. It's a misdemeanor of the first degree. It carries up to 180 days in the county jail and up to a $1,000 fine. You understand the charge? Yep. And how do you wish yes, to serve, sir? I'm not guilty. That's a nicer house. What is your current address? 185 Burke Avenue. Right. Is there an apartment? Uh, apartment G. G is in Garfield? Yep. In city and state? Uh, Newark, Ohio, 43055. Are you employed, Mr. Ramsey? Yep. I work for Ramsey's Painting. It's a cousin of mine. It's always a family-owned business. I bet he drives a small red S10, Mr. <laughs> He's in a very old Datsun truck. Yeah, very small. I can see that, dude. With a, with a rack on top. And he's got a great rack. Yes, he does. He feeds the world with them things. Feeds the world. I just started a couple weeks ago. No, absolutely not. Be happy if I'm here for the chase. <laughs> no, what's the problem? Yeah. Can't, can't do my job. Can't do it. No reason for me to be here. <laughs> Sure is noisy better. Somebody got a big ass mouth better. Where's Sue to quiet these dudes down? The new Sue. I mean, we still haven't even. Do we even know the new Sue? Uh, we do hear the new Sue's name. No. And I, we Sue may me? see a piece of them. Thank Little you, Sue. Why the hell you keep going to it? You might have something. They might have something. What is it? What kind of instrument? <laughs> All right, Mr. Ramsey, let me do one last thing here. It easy does it, Ramsey. I don't know what this person's saying, but they really. Uh, 
There's no bitch. such thing. All right. Thank so, you, all Mr. Ramsey, you. I'm going to set your bond at $5,000, cash sure to your 10% with the condition that you not have any contact either directly or indirectly with Amanda Ramsey and that you not consume any alcohol or drugs. This case is going to be randomly assigned to a judge and set for a trial. You're going to receive notice through the mail. If you want to get an attorney, you can either hire one or you can get an application for court appointed down there at the jail. If you're not going to be able to post that bond, the jail will send that down here for you. Uh, if you are able to post your bond, then you'll have to turn that in yourself. But the key is not to wait until the day of your trial to deal with getting an attorney. Do you understand? Yeah. All right. Any questions today, Mr. Uh, Ramsey? Let me go with the officer, sir. Thank you. Can we see this big mouth? That's running. Oh, winning. Oh. Yes, Your Honor. Good afternoon. Is that how you pronounce your last name, sir? Yes, it is. You got it on the first try. Thank you. Um, you understand your rights? Yes, sir. You yes, sir. copy the complaint? Yes, sir. Read it and understand it? Yes, sir. Never. So the Newark Police Department alleges on honor about April the 12th of this year here in the city of Newark and in Lincoln County, Ohio, that you did recklessly cause inconvenience, annoyance, or alarm to another by engaging in fighting in threatening harm to persons or property, or in violent or turbulent behavior, and fail to stop when asked. It's commonly known as persistent disorderly conduct. It's a misdemeanor of the fourth degree, and the maximum penalties are up to 30 days in the county jail and up to a $250 fine. So do you understand? Yes, sir. And how do you wish to plead, sir? No contest. Now, no contest plea doesn't admit guilt, but it admits that what they say happened is true. Now, I've got a police report here. I'll read through that. If those, if those reports support what you're charged with, I would find you guilty. Do you realize that? Okay. Well, I'm not even concerned. I don't even know what's in the police report. Well, then, and a lot of it's cloudy to me because I don't ever remember even arguing with her. I mean, I had a few discussions, but she's my landlord and she just let's wants me to move. Let's talking about what may or may not have happened just yet, okay? okay um, one thing real quick. Uh, have we always seen that picture over there? There's like a um, I civil think war. That, yes, I, I think the, the shot is just a little bit more wide than normal, I believe. Yeah. But yeah, it's usually there because it's on top of that. Uh, you know. uh, like, see like how much? Head. See how much of this we can see? We normally don't. Yeah. I, I think that's a, just a slightly wider shot. Hmm. Upscale. Um, we've heard of landlord tenant disputes, but we never had a landlord fight with a tenant, mm. or vice versa. So this is kind of something new. Cloudy. The chance of domestic violence. Do you want to go ahead and you know you have a right to to see what evidence the state would use against you in the context okay, of the court file? Do you want to plead not guilty? Yes, I, I would, Your Honor. I'd like to see the police report. Uh, what is your current address, Mr. Schwenning? Uh, Ninety nine North Williams Street, Newark. And um, are you employed? Yes, sir. Where do you work? Schwenning. I work at Antibiotic and uh, second shift degreasing, and I've been there for over a year and a half now. The one over on Tamarack. Yes. Yeah. Let me take a quick look real quick, and then uh, we're going to talk about your bond. So just uh, bear with me, okay? Go ahead. Take your time. Me and Creed will just chat it up. Good. Anything you need, Creed? Yeah, I'll just put you through that. Well, hey, I thought when I start going into it, I've been... So I drugs. Hold on. Now it's not a creep. Okay, so I'm going to release you on your own recognizance, Mr. Schwenning. This case will be randomly assigned to a judge and set for a trial. You'll be notified by mail of your next court date. A condition of your release is not to consume any alcohol or drugs. If you're going to go for court-appointed counsel, get the application there at the jail. But since you're getting out, you have to turn it in. If you want to hire your own lawyer, you can do that too. But just deal with getting a lawyer well before the next time you're supposed to be in court. Understand? It's a good idea. Yes, sir. Any other questions today, sir? No, thank you. And you may go with the officer. Thank you. It's always really? been loud in that side room uh, or whatever, Smith. but it's been a lot loud. Yeah, really noisy. Somebody's got a big mouth. Every once in a while, it gets you know loud. Well, Mr. Sandberg, how you doing? Good afternoon, Mr. Smith. How are you? You want me to be honest with you? Now, I'm, I'm doing my best to maintain because you've always should be. I don't care about him in the courtroom. They seem to have a background together. I believe they know each other. Maybe from the old pickleball court. Maybe they were, they've played a few games. I don't know. He seems very uh. Got his hands behind his back. He's ready. Uh, he might be locked up. Hey, get the camera back. You, you left the judge. <laughs> Is he drunk? <laughs> What's <is> that, man? <laughs> hey, judge, I can't see you. Now, do you know why you're here today? 
Yep, and do me a favor. Oh, you you know. look, 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 and here's what I said, Mr. Chansberry. You've always been cool with me. You ain't never made me mad. But I'm gonna tell you, uh, I'm gonna uh, here's what I'm gonna do, man. I'm pleading no contest, and I'm gonna tell you exactly how I feel. I ain't gonna cuss. I'm gonna say, tell you how I feel, and I'm gonna leave it up to you what you think about it. I and if you come down to the Omni in Atlanta, baby, we're gonna pin you. It's gonna be a one, two, three, and that's all there is to it. This guy's gone crazy. He's cutting a mean promo on this dude. Stansberry, you better stand back, brother. There's a train coming through. Yeah, he hit the. Yeah, I thought he was. And he's got a giant book. I thought it, I thought he was locked up. He's definitely the one that was making all the noise back there. He's definitely is. The judge, fair and impartial, because that's what you are. You listen. That's why I like you. Well, thank you, Mr. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's so do it. You understand, of course, that you're not required to plead no contest. You can stay with your not guilty plea, right? Yeah, I know that. And by the way, Mr. Smith, I'm asking you these questions not to try to convince you to do otherwise than what you would like to do. I just have to verify you're doing it of your own free it's will. A party. Okay? Hey, Judge, I told you just do what you do, Mr. Stansberry. As long as you show me respect, sir, I'll give it. But if you don't, I'll cuss you. You already know I am. Well, you know I always, I've always treated you with respect, and I try to treat everybody who comes before me with respect. That's what I like about you. I'm saying that, Judge, that's what I like about you. Well, you that's have the right like to be represented by you. an attorney. Did you want to waive that right? I'm like, yep, I'm like, yep, I, I file for a court appointed attorney, but I'm going to represent myself because I got something to say. I ain't going to be mean, but yeah, I, yeah, I'm waiving it. Okay. Now, you have the right to a trial even if you don't have a lawyer, and that could be with a judge or a jury. And at the trial, you could question the witnesses against you and subpoena your own witnesses. you understand that? Yeah, can I ask you a question? You can also, if I plead no contest, you can also make your decision based upon that. Am I correct? If you plead no contest, yeah, I'll explain to you what the nature of that plea is. You're not. You ain't got to explain. I only know what it is. I'm, I'm pleading no contest, but go ahead. You got to do what you got to do. Cross your eyes and get the teams. I'm good, Judge. I'm cool. Yeah. So, a no contest plea. Did he just say cross the I's and dot the T's? I'm pretty sure he just I, did. I don't right? understand a, a word that he said. I, I caught a couple of very small words, but that's. I mean, let, let's basically break it down. He said, look, Judge. I know you got a job to do. And I have one to do as well. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to raise hell. I'm going to tell you how wrong it is. But at the end of the day, I'm going to come in here and I'm going I'm to cross the I's and I'm going to dot the T's, daddy. I'm doing it. I'm doing it all. He fights he everybody, but with respect, Flip. With respect, your honor. Go yourself. But it admits that what they say happened is true. So if I read through this police report, oh, it yeah, yeah. supports the fact that you were obstructing official business. We're being drunk yeah, and disorderly, and this guy didn't drunk tell and disorderly. Him what your name was? I would find you guilty. Do you understand that? Yeah, but I'm gonna be that's good. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and plead with the what they wrote, and I'm gonna tell you how I feel and what what really happened. Yeah, I'm still gonna stick to my guns. I don't give a shit. Not I'm playing no contest, but I, I said you're fair and partial, so I want to see what kind of sentence I get. Go ahead. I like you. I'm gonna say f it. Shit on this. Come back twice. Look at me go. And Cheryl, go we love the lorkers. Lork all you want, Cheryl. Right. Lork away. I'll say daughter. I'll say water. They both are spelled the same way. Okay. So um, if you plead no contest, the state no longer has to prove anything in order for me to find you guilty. And you give up those other rights. Do you understand that? I sure do. Now, uh, so the obstructing official business is a third degree or second degree misdemeanor. The maximum's there up to 90 days, up to a $750 fine. The other two charges are fourth degree misdemeanors. Each carries up to 30 days and a $250 fine. Any questions? I'm looking, at, uh, I'm looking at 150 days. Okay. So have you been threatened in any way or promised anything to get you to do what you're doing here? Yeah, God said be cool and no, he ain't nobody threatening. Okay. Uh, are you under the influence of anything right now? No. And lastly, Mr. Smith, are you still a citizen of the United States of America? I hate to say so, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, putting that aside, um, I'm going to accept your plea. I need to look at the police report, and then, like I said, you're going to get your chance. I need to say, to say your my piece. side, right? You're going to get your chance to say your piece, but let me read this first, okay? Go ahead, Your Honor. Like I said, because I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel, and, and there's reasons, man. Because I'm a no dead air with this guy. I'm telling you. None. No, he don't. He don't stop, and he's still waiting for all this to be done so he can have his. his I hope that he gives him a chance to say what he wants. He reminds me of a roadside southern preacher, or yeah, a roadside hobo that's just gone crazy. Yeah. A little maybe, mix of both. 
Maybe drink something you weren't supposed to. Pee pee. Well, now, just a, yeah, just be cool, Jesus. Be cool. Oh, he's talking to Sif down. Hey, you guys, watch this for a testimony. I'm being nice. <laughs> I like that guy. Okay. Gecko, I like thank you. I like this guy right here, Gecko Jesus. Let me let me settle myself down. You smell the top of a gecko's head. Did it smell good? Or? <laughs> Gee, your hair smells terrific. Okay, now, Mr. Smith, I've had a chance to read it, but I, and I know you, I know you feel strongly about this, but let's try to keep our language clean, okay? Yes, sir. I apologize, Ronnie. You, I'm gonna say something. Just when people, my temper, man, I can't. I got 20 years in prison. I ain't nothing nice. Then people want to push my buttons, and your cops want to keep poking at me. They want to piss me off, so that's why I had to calm down. Okay. I, I'm tired of being poked like a bear. All righty. Is there anything else you want to say? Nope. I want to say more. I got to say about the no contest. Yeah, go ahead. What, what do you want to say about that? Oh, he's letting them. Uh, here's what happened, Your Honor. Before, a week before I got arrested, or two weeks, I went to the nut house, committed. Because I had another, I, I had a panic Shut attack. And you really want to know how I feel, Your Honor? I do. I'm pleading guilty to everything. No, I ain't pleading guilty to shit. Long story short, I had a panic attack. I'm off my meds. I find my sister the night before I got arrested dead, Your Honor. I had to bury my sister. Whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. He buried one his sister. Wayne, welcome. Making great choices today. Wayne, this is a, a great decision. Not unlike Judge Stansberry letting this guy go for it. Um, <laughs> all right, so let me get this straight. He had a panic attack. Yes. He went to the nut house. I don't know. Very surprising, both of those. Day before, he found his sister dead. And had to bury her. I don't know if that was all in the same day. He did man. say something about pity. I caught that because I, 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 I had pity the fool. I pity the poor fool that don't eat breakfast. Well, here's what I did. I had a fucking nose breakdown because I ain't allowed to go around my mama according to the goddamn parole board. I'm sorry. But I'm telling you exactly how I feel. He's not allowed to go around his mama. I just also his... like, did I not say something about the language just a few seconds ago and you totally got it because you apologized and explained why? Uh, parole board won't let him around his mama. I mean, we've all been there. That's true, kids. You got to be careful with uh, some of these. He might be uh, really yeah, I, being honest about things, you know. I thought like, yeah, well, uh, hopefully we had a doctor check her out before we buried her. I mean, she could have just been sleeping really hard. I get arrested the same day that, that I get arrested for going to see my mom after my sister died. So I, let me tell you about your justice system. I think it's a piece of shit. And it needs straighten up. Now, Long story short. What is it? Listen, I'm sorry. I don't mean to cuss. But God damn, man, I'm telling the truth. All of my uh, he's on a roll. He's on a roll. He's really being he, brutally and, honest. And he did switch it up pretty good. He just said, God dang. You know, yeah, that's yeah, an yeah, yeah. He's, he's watching his language. He's just watching it go awry, though. That's the problem. Yeah. Stansberry trying to uh, crowbar in, but he won't let him. He, he tried. You could barely hear him. He was down here. Uh, yeah, hold on. I lost my sister. I can't see my mom. I get arrested. I miss my sister's funeral. And now my youngest sister is dying of non Hodgkin's lymphoma. Wow. What a streak of bad luck, Creed. Terrible luck, yes. Not only did he have a panic attack and end up at the nut house, find his sister dead, have to bury her, go to see his mama. The court said he can't see his mama, got him arrested. Now we got sister laid up somewhere with lymphoma. Not a good thing. Fuck cancer. It, it's a medical. I ain't killed nobody yet, Your Honor. That's not a threat. It's true. Uh, I, I'm at the, I appreciate that. I'm at the point. I'm, I'm at the point, Your Honor. Well, I'm on a nervous breakdown again, a panic attack, and here's what gets me. I didn't resist. He kicked me up, handcuffed me, and I come through. Yeah, I'm spitting because what did I do to get it? I don't remember nothing, man. He ruled it. I was committed, and then I get arrested for my sister dying, and I get arrested and get sent back to prison, no fuel. And check this out. I don't give a shit about your, your system. What is the compassion, Your Honor? That's all I got to say. All right. Thank you, Mr. Whew. Oh, he had a lot to say, Creed. 
he did Pac-Man. admit that he was off of his meds as well, which well, I think is a good thing. But... That's uh, that's probably because uh, yeah, no, never. Yeah, anyway. But he is done. That's all we had to say, Creed. Nothing that's more right. to say on this subject. Yes, I'm sure he'll shut up now and let Judge Sansbury do his thing. I'm sure. Absolutely done. And, and think about it, seriously. Here's, here's what I know you about you, Sansbury. You feel what I'm saying, dude. How about putting yourself in my shoes? And I said, now my youngest one's dying. I've lost three of them. Well, All of them. You've had, you've had a rough go at things. I know that, Mr. Smith. One thing I don't do, if I did it, I admit it. Period. I'd like to see this guy run for president. <laughs> well, the very the least mayor of licking would be fine too tiny piggy thank you for the two dollars <laughs> the debates that's all i want <laughs> this guy's in at podium stansbury i know what kind of man you are i was waiting to say something really bad but you know he went with a you know straight shooter <laughs> i'm sorry you're i'm trying to calm down and i'm homeless who gives a fuck <laughs> He's doing great with not uh you know swearing at least. Thank you. <laughs> that's, that's great. <laughs> I love this dude. Oh Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith. Go on. Now come on, Mr. Smith. I asked you please nicely I you? know, I'm sorry. I, I yeah, Mr. David, I'll, I'll calm down, guy. Lord. Now I'm gonna tell you something. You tell me be cool, but think about what I said about being cool and being arrested. My sister died. My I get, I get arrested and back to prison for going around my mom. I'm gonna tell you something. I went back to prison on purpose because ain't nobody gonna keep me away from my mom. I don't care who you are, other than God. Other than God. Uh Creed, very religious man. Yes, 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 yes. Preach. Uh yeah. do you think they're gonna let him see his mama anytime soon? No, I don't think so. You think we're in the right department? Uh, it's the wrong court, I think. But we'll, well, we'll figure it out. Maybe his mom is here. Uh, hey, Mr. Smith, how much longer are you on PRC? Oh, uh, I maxed it out. Oh, so you're done with your PRC? Yes, sir. And that's mom coming to you. And I told you how I feel because this is the last time you're on. And get in Jesus, in, I'm never going to be in front of the court system. And I've been railroaded one, two, God didn't. They told me I've been railroaded one too many times. I'm on a blink of time. Seriously. Well, hey, I'm a very dangerous man. Have you and I'm on a point. I don't mean that. I need my meds. I'm off my meds. I, and here's what made me accept me on today. I got a Bible and my glasses got separated from me coming down here. So I wonder why I get mad, man. All right. So that's a Bible he's toting around, Cream. Uh ha. That's what he hit the, the thing with. Uh, yes, Randy a very Kirk. big Bible. That's a. That must be the Old and New Testament, as big as that thing was. You think he learned all the swear words in that book? Or? Eh, well, maybe he learned them from dear old mama. Court says I can't see her anymore. Because every time I turn around, somebody wants to poke the bear. Well, this is the wrong bear to be poking. And that goes for anybody. Because I'm going to start swinging if I got to. That's not a threat. That's a promise. If anybody wants to walk up on me. That's not a spoiler, Creed. That is a promise. He's coming in. Just getting everybody the word. Now, did he didn't him. lose them. He's, they were separated. separated. They were separated. From each other. They, have, they have kept him from reading the Bible. Kept him from seeing his mama. Buried his sister that he found dead. <laughs> the other one's got the lymphoma. Fuck cancer. And now here we are. Formerly of the Nut House. I hope Stansberry gives him a PR bond and just lets him out. <laughs> You're free, sir. Go ahead. I got a five foot radius. Stay away from it. And there's Mr. Smith, have you talked five to the medical staff down at the jail about getting your meds? Hell no, I just got here. Okay. I'm here five minutes. I'm sorry. I apologize, Mr. Stansberry, but God damn it, I'm not going to be apologized for wrong. I had a pain attack. I missed my sister's funeral. I go to prison for my mama. Hey, man, who's wrong? Well, you've been under a lot of stress, Mr. Smith, and you not having your meds certainly doesn't help. I agree. I had a panic attack. I'm on the, nerves, I'm on the edge of a nervous breakdown. I'm shaking right now. Oh, yeah. It's from anger because nobody's 
You know, I'm trying to play the violin. Nobody cares. Because two- I didn't know this guy played violin. He did. Learning I new care. things about him every minute. Violin player. Homeless one. But He's violin off, player nonetheless. Been off his meds for a while, I'm guessing. This way. Can't see his mama. Now he's going to prison because of his mama. Yeah, mama, mama got him in prison. I wonder how old mama is. Is she the bear that he pokes? Don't poke the bear. He's got a five foot radius creed. Don't you break it. That goes for you too, Paula. Two minutes after I walk out the door, they got something to say behind my back. Here's what I don't do. I'll tell you exactly to your face. I don't care if you're the president. I don't care if you who you are. One thing I ain't going to do is bow down to anybody other than Jesus. Okay, well, here's what we're going to do today and wrap this up, okay? All right, kids, get your bets in. What's he going to do? He's going to spring them? He's going to give them a cash bond? Is he going to? I mean... I think you got to keep him in to get him his meds anyways. You can't just, if you PR'd him and he's homeless, no matter what he did, I, I, you know, is he going to get his meds? Do you think he can handle getting his meds himself? I don't think so. I think that, that's probably your best bet right there, what Lola says. But Tranquilize him. I, I don't know if you can. <laughs> like a bear. Can he do that? Can he send, you know what I mean? So I, don't, I don't know. Can he do that? I don't know. I don't know when you hold somebody on a, on certain uh, things. I don't. I don't. I well, for sure, shit, not going to be that. I you could commit murder in Licking County and not get a twenty k bond. <laughs> you got to really do something. Let's, bad. let's be honest. I mean, it's got to be. Like, bad. We heard a five k bond earlier. That's that's huge. I was, and it was cash. I was like, ooh, not, yeah. Well, good for that. I don't. I don't know. I I think he's he needs help. Obviously. Obviously. All right, Stansberry, take it away. Go ahead. On all three of the charges, I'm going to impose a fine of $150, but I'm going to suspend the fines. I'm going to order that you pay yep. the court costs. On the, uh, uh, the disorderly and the failure to disclose, I'll give you 10 days, but together, so they're con- concurrent, not consecutive, and you got two yep. days worth of credit coming, so you owe me eight days, and then you're done. Any questions? Nope. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Smith. You may go with the officer. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Sandberg, I apologize, but the way I feel, I don't apologize, sir. Make sure you get your meds when you get out, Mr. Smith, okay? I got them during my cousin, and I got thrown out because nobody loves Jesus. All right. Because <laughs> they don't love Jesus? Nobody, nobody loves, loves Jesus, so they threw him out of the house. Oh, Damn. Okay. Eight days. <laughs> Sorry eight, about that. Sorry, I had a way out. Eight glorious days of that guy yelling from a cell. Um. You can tell, though, with Judge Stansbury, he has most certainly dealt with him before and I yes. think was a pro with handling him. He just let um, him go because he knew if he didn't, he was just going to make yeah. him matter. Yeah, don't let that stuff uh, pent up. He was very upfront that he needed to get that out, and he did. And I know he's going to go eight oof. days more without his meds. Without his so. meds. Yeah, I don't think. I thought maybe they'd get him his meds. Now, when you he's get out, there? make sure you take those. In eight days, if you don't murder everybody in jail. Five foot radius. Watch out for them Jesus hating freaks in jail. My cousin hated the Jesus, and uh, so there I am. Get out. Yep. All right. Can we see the new suit? Please. All right, Mr. Smith. Good luck. Officer Riley, I will see you tomorrow. Officer Riley. Riley. Have a good rest of your day. Court stands in recess. Oh, that's the new. I What? Oh, my God. It's a dude. First of all, I don't know what to think about this. Mr. Riley, there's people that we have passed judgment on before when we first met them, and it turned out we became very good friends. So I'm just going to need some more time with, with Officer Riley. Also going to more a little more pep in your step there, Riley. You, you got to banter it up a little bit with Stansberry. Maybe he's like, a judge. Maybe he's maybe he's just George's side of things. We got uh, guy might be BFF God. with George, eh? He might be. He I'm might a no-nonsense guy. Those of you who don't know, or maybe new here, licking has been a go-to for us for, well... Many, many years now. Many years now. Um, and we absolutely love it. Uh, there's a dynamic where there's there's Judge Stansberry, who we just saw, and Judge George that you probably won't ever see. 
<laughs> near very often, anyways, I should say. Um, Sue was in that job there for a long time. And um, we've been talking to Sue, not really, but I mean, you know, us through this. We way. talk to Sue all the time. And people think we're crazy, stopped. but but one day she did. One day my God is the greatest day of my life. Her day of retirement. <sighs> we didn't even know if she knew about us. It, I never in a million you. years. No, we watch you so many channels. Are. We would jump on and we would even see just Sue's hand, or we would hear Sue in the background, and we'd be, ah, oh, there she is. It makes our day when we see Sue. Such a I would love to sit at a table. And eat dinner with Sue. I agree. It's on my bucket list. At the KW, of course. I'm not sure if there is a KW in Licking, but um, yeah. maybe barbecue. Maybe it's mm. What is Sue like? What is her go to? What is Sue's go to? In my mind, Sue loves chicken and pastry. <laughs> the fuck is chicken and pastry? Like a chicken pot pie? Oh, boy. oh my goodness! Chicken pastry, chicken and pastry, Daddy. Come on, ah, uh, chicken and pastry, some hot biscuits with some butter in them. Oh, Ooh. it's like chicken and biscuits. You talking about? No, no, no. Chicken and pastry. <laughs> Come on, man. That'd be the one and only time I would go to a Cracker Barrels with soup. They have chicken and dumplings. I like chicken and pastry personally. Chicken and pastry, you're so weird. So weird. She likes catfish. Catfish, baby. Have a catfish fry. Chicken spaghetti. <laughs> oh, the chicken spaghetti's great. Come on. That's right. Don't knock it. I did once until I learned what the fuck it was. Oh, so, oh, so good. Now, now I want chicken spaghetti for dinner tonight. What kind? Mustard base or uh mm. Mm. I hope it's kind of uh, less mustardy. Maybe mm. a like a like a red potato salad. I would imagine a Sue. Oh, Sue. Cook. I bet she's an amazing cook. Amazing. Mm -hmm. oh, I wish Sue would mess. Uh, we got messages from Sue's compatriots. But I want to hear directly from Sue. I don't want to request yeah. Sue being here Pot through a third party. You can see that. If Pot you roast. didn't know, if you knew right now, all right. If you knew right now, let's just pretend any restaurant that's available to us is, is available near licking mm -hmm. and he said we're going out to dinner tonight with sue where would you take her like just assuming that they have that restaurant anywhere because i'd probably I, take her to a, like a cheddar's or something you know something yeah. cash yeah. uh, but still with some comfort food available see that's why i would i would just go to cheesecake factory Got See, I've never been there. I can't pick. Well, that. they have a, a menu that's as big as that dude's Bible that just uh, he just slammed on Randy Thorpe's uh, thing. Uh, God rides a Harley. Thank you for the two bones. Uh, Old the, Mikey. We miss Sue Express. Katie Brown, thank you and welcome. Wonder Twin Double D's Double hey. L. Welcome back. Welcome back. Great to see you, Gary. Tiny Piggy, thank you. Mayor, fan of the year 2024, by the way. Craig says thank you. Gecko, Chesa, welcome. Wayne Moth, welcome. Tiny Piggy, flush a five foot stride. <laughs> Gotta stay clear of it. And of uh, God, Roger, Harley or Old Mikey's. Old Mikey on the caboose. Look, guys, I need you to do us a huge favor. Uh, here in just a, oh, yeah, I love me some gravy and biscuit. Uh, now, you know, I forgot Jolly Bees. Uh, I, I have not been to one yet, but I am. Uh, I, I know all about it from uh, the YouTube. So I want to go get some uh, spaghetti with wieners in it. Yeah, I want to try that. All yeah. right. So, look, guys, as soon as uh, this is over, you'll be redirected to <laughs> a premiere. If you're over on We Got a Case, you'll be going to a certain one that's starting now. And if you're over on Credence and Mikey, Yours will be starting in just uh, about an hour, a little less than an hour. So make sure you go on over there. You hit the old uh, notify, leave a comment, whatever. Make sure you like it, though. We'll see you real soon. If uh, oh, By the way, at 3 o'clock, if you like Judge Boyd, boy, do we have a show for you. No, oh, that's too expensive. You guys take care. We'll see you here in just a little bit. Stay safe. Stay hard. And, of course, more than anything, stay tuned. Olive Guard? Really? Nah, I don't know about we that. could do better than that. Well, Longhorn, maybe. <sighs> if Sue's paying.
I love you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> That's my new ending now from now on. I love, I love you. you. I'm, I'm proud, proud of you. Bye. And for, and for God's sakes, Thanks. stay out of. <laughs>